What is good guys, back with more tournament coverage, this time Jules vs Heartmeat for ulti round 1. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be Zard, Y plus Victini. Uh, Jules loves that combination of mons, he has led out with my friend TB4, they used those two mons a lot. Uh, Rock's gonna be on Feral Thorn, then um, Defog on Gliscor. Potentially secondary Defoggers are the Coco and the Katana, I think it's gonna be Defog on Katana. Uh, Katana is... I'm not sure about the Katana set, could be Scarf, could be Bandit, could be Z-Move. Honestly not sure if the Katana or the Coco is the Z-Move user on Jules' side. On Hotmeat's side I think it has to be Zarex, otherwise he's super weak to Coco. If his Zaga takes any chip damage, Coco kinda 6 owes him. Uh, his Megina has to be Spadef, because otherwise he loses to um, Mega Alakazam, and he's also weak to Reuniclus otherwise, so I assume it's gonna be Spadef Megina with um, Heart Swap and Leftovers. So turn 1 we're gonna see either U-Turn or Volt Switch here from Jules. Um, and if it's Zarex, he honestly doesn't have a good switch in, which I think it should be Zarex, because otherwise, how does Hotmeat beat Coco, like I said, outside of Zygarde, which cannot always be at 100%. Um, so, I think Hotmeat is just gonna make Unflabbles here. The Seedron also probably has Earthquake. This, this Zarex probably also has Earthquake to check Heatron, is what I'm trying to say. So, outside of Zygarde, he has a secondary trend check. Torn could be Helmet or Z-Move, I'm not sure about that. Uh, Z-Move could also be on the Zygarde. Yeah, I guess it's probably Helmet Torn, because if Roxa, Zard, and Torn both don't check Katana super well, so we definitely want the bulky Helmet Torn. So I think we're just going to see a Flabbles as Jules U-turn out into his Gliscor. He obviously doesn't want to sack the Gliscor, because um, just activated the Poison Orb, which means it can switch into Pex later on in the game without having to fear getting burned, and it can roost on that, it can also still check the Zygarde. So you should definitely switch out here into... Hmm. I guess he could sack the Feral Thorn, because he doesn't really need it. Uh, if he has a headbutt on Victini, that's also a potential play, but I think he's gonna sack the Ferrothon to let the Zard take all the recoil and get it in range from where Coco can kill it. So I don't know if Hotmeat wants to attack again, but he does attack again. He's gonna take all the recoil from Iron Barbs and Flare Blitz recoil. Not the biggest fan of that play because now it's in range to die from Coco. So we could see either the Kartana or um, the Coco come out here most likely from Jules. And if Coco comes out, I think Hotmeat is just forced to sack the Zard because he honestly doesn't have a good Coco answer, like I already said earlier. Yeah, the Mew is most likely going to be Rocks on Hotmeat sides with um, Soft Bolt, Rocks, Will -O Wisp, and Ice Beam is what I'm thinking. It doesn't need to be Earth Power on this team if the Zard has Earthquake and he also has Zyga to check Tren. Then, yeah, Torn is going to be Defog, Hurricane, Knockoff, and then either Taunt or U Turn in the last slot. Um, so, let's just go into Coco. U Turn doesn't kill from here, so I think we're going to see a HP Ice or a T Bolt here. Uh, well, like, unless he is physical, then I guess we could see a wild charge. I still think that has HP eyes. I didn't calc the U-turn damage, it only did 10%. Um, I think he's probably U-turn HP eyes, T-Bill, and Rooster Defog, most likely Roost in the last slot. So he does go on a Megina, that has 3% and reveals leftover. So he's leftover Spadef, which usually runs Volt Switch, either Flash Can or Fleur Can. Uh, heart swap to deal with Reuniclus and um, Command Clefable, uh, even though he has a Pax on this team, so he doesn't need it for Clef, but he still needs it for Reuniclus. And the last move is either Pain Split or Protect, usually to keep this type of Megina healthy. So Jules went into Megina, they are predicting either a Fleur Can or a Flash Can. Hotme just went for Volt Switch. Um, I agree with both plays, because Jules didn't want to lose the Gliscor, because the Gliscor can still heal later in the game. It was unlikely that he was going to go Gliscor there, so I agree with the Volt Switch play predicting. Uh, Victini or Zard to come out, most likely predicting Victini. Now we could see the Zygarde come out here from Hotmeat's side. And then um, Zygarde probably just clicks Thousand Arrows because the Gliscor is super low, which means Jules might have to sack something to the Zygarde. Um, yeah, he does not have a good switch into the Zygarde, so Hotmeat is free to go to it here, exactly. And the Zygarde is either Z-Move or Bandit, is what I'm thinking, one of the two sets. And yeah, I think we're gonna see a U-turn here from Jules, and that U-turn might give us information about this Victini, if it's Scarf, or if it's Bandit, or if it's a completely different set, and I'm wrong. Let's see, he U-turns for 15. Um, might be Scarf, definitely not Bandit. Goes in the Katana, takes a lot, so that's definitely Choice Bandit, Kart um, Choice Bandit Zygarde. Now, Hotmeat has to go into his Tornadus here, which can take any one hit, there's no rocks up. Um, even if this card is banned, the Torn can take anyone hit. There's no reason to go Mew here. And we can see a potential double into Coco, or we could also see a knockoff from Jules as he does go for a knockoff, which is a fine play. And that does a lot to the Torn, and the Torn reveals to be Rocky Helmet. Um, I think that's probably banned Kartana, so 
Victini might be the Scarfa, or he doesn't have a Scarfa, because that looks like Bandit to me, because that turn is most likely max HP. Now, Hotmeat can go for a U-turn here to grab momentum, because if Jules switches out into Coco, which is most likely the play, um, then he gets momentum and he can bring the Zygarde back in. Yeah, he obviously couldn't stay in with the Zygarde on the on the Kartana, because if Zygarde takes any chip damage, he might just lose to the Coco, because I'm thinking at this point the Coco is probably Z-Move, uh, Gigavolt Havoc, which can Oko packs and... Um, yeah, Megina also doesn't beat it that well, especially if Coco has some HP investment, it can probably take a Flurken and or Roost it off. And yeah, U-Turn is always the play here, unless he doesn't have U-Turn. If he doesn't have U-Turn, then he can also pull a double here into Megina or Zygarde, because it's like really obvious that Coco is the play for Jules. Uh, if he has Sludge Wave or Sludge Bomb for some reason, then he can go for that to catch the Coco on the switch. Otherwise, he should always U-turn or double. But he knocks off and it, yeah, Coco reveals the Z-move because no item gets knocked off. So it's probably U-turn, HPS, Z, T-Bolt and Roost in the last slot. Because this is his Dark Resist, you obviously want Roost on it um, in case Ash Greninja locks in the Dark Pulse. So you don't want to risk your Pharaoh getting flinched always. Sometimes you want to go Coco on Ash Ninja and then Roost it off. The Dark Pulse with your Dark Resist Coco. Now Jules is probably just gonna click U-Turn here. HPIs is another option. Clicks HPI. Um, yeah, HPIs was a fine play. U-Turn would have also been a fine play in my opinion. Um, you had to click one of the two just to not let the Zygarde in for free. Now Zygarde comes out and uh, HPIs doesn't kill from this range. So Hot Meat is free to click 1000 arrows. And Jules kinda has to sack something. I am... He might sack the Kartana because the Kartana is already weakened. And I think the Gliscor is at 35 or something like that, because I took a Flare Blitz, so Gliscor would die from here. So I think you probably sack Kartana here, and then afterwards, if you have your Gliscor invested to outspeed Zygarde, which you should have on this team, because this team is quite weak to Zygarde, especially if the Zard Y, if it's Zard Y, which it should be, knowing what Jules likes to use. So, um, we already know that this is the move now from the knockoff, so it's not Shuka or anything, which also makes this team even more weak to Zygarde, so Gliscor definitely has to be... Um, invested to outspeed Zygarde and Roost on it. So now we has to set Kartana, I think. Like, I don't really see what else he can do. Hot Meat is obviously gonna click Thousand Arrows here. That's his only play. I mean, Jules can U turn out here. He can U turn to get some chip on the Zygarde. Um, this Coco is really valuable as it can kind of just win the game whenever the Zygarde gets low. Uh, because it, like, T Bolt destroys everything. I'm pretty sure the Mew does not have Earth Power on this team because he has probably Earthquake. Yeah, let's just sack the Kartana. And now we can just go on the Gliscor and Roost if he has speed investment for the Zygarde. If he doesn't have speed investment for Zygarde on the Gliscor, then he should probably um, delete this team. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But uh, I guess the other option would have been if he had um, HPIs on the Zy on the, on the Zard Y. Or if the Zygarde was in range from HPIs from Coco, that could have been an option. I don't think Zy I don't think Zard has HPIs though. So he goes with Gliscor confirming that he has, probably has speed for the Zygarde, and he can just roost here. Um, yeah, this is most likely a roost, defog, earthquake, gliscor. Uh, last move, either Ice Fang or knockoff. It should be Ice Fang on this team, because I already said a few times he's really weak to Zygarde. And yeah, Hotmeat can switch out here into his Mew to threaten out the gliscor with an Ice Beam or into his Tornadoes. Um, I mean, he can also stay in once just in case he's faster, because Jules is obviously going to roost this turn. Um, but I would personally just hard switch because it's really obvious that this Gliscor has to be speed invested for the Zygarde and there's literally no reason um, for Hotmeat to stay in. But in case Jules forgot his speed EVs at home, I guess he can stay in once as he does stay in. Um, yeah, that only does 48 and he's also able to heal more with um, Poison Heal. Now he can just roost again, get this Gliscor more healthy. And yeah, Hotmeat should switch out, like I said already, into either Mew or into Torn. Which, like I said, Mew is going to be an uh, Ice Beam, Soft Belt, Wisp and Rocks variant is what I'm thinking. So if he goes Mew, he can get up the Rocks, which will pressure the Victini and the Zard. Um, yeah, if Jules ever gets rid of the Toxapex and um, a little bit more chip on the Zygarde, he kind of just wins with Zard Y. And he also just wins with the Coco if he gets a little bit more chip on Zygarde. I don't know if it's in range just yet from HPIs. Um, but like, I think Coco can probably take any one hit from Magina as well. He dies Fangs there, which is also okay, which is an okay play, but I would have roosted it personally. Now he has to switch out here on a potential Ice Beam. Hot Meat can probably predict the switch. Um, either Victini or Zard is gonna come out here. He should just get the rocks up. There's no reason to Ice Beam into either Victini or Zard. Exactly, gets the rocks up. And now, 
Hot Meat does not have a great switch in for this. I guess he could potentially just go for Soft Boiled. Because uh, we already know that the Coco is the Z move user, so there's no chance that this is a Z Celebrate variant. So he doesn't have to fear. Like, he can just Soft Boiled here. He does not have to fear the Victini going for Z Celebrate on a Soft Boiled. I think Soft Boiled is the play here. Um, could also go into Packs, but that could dest get destroyed by Bolt Strike and get 2 it KO'd by. I don't know. We know it's not banned from U turn damage from earlier. I don't know what item this is. Honestly, it could be Scarf, because I don't think he has another Scarfer. But I guess he could also go Zygarde here, predicting a Bolt Strike. It's either Zygarde or Pex or Soft Bolt with the Mew and Stay. And as he goes hard Zygarde, and there's a Glaciate. So good play on Jules. So this Victini is mixed with U turn and Glaciate, and then probably V Create and another coverage move, which is most likely Bolt Strike, because he has Electric Terrain from Coco to uh, boost Bolt Strike. Uh, so what item is he that just killed? Is he Expert Belt or White Lands or White Glasses or whatever that item is called that boosts the special attack by 10%? Might be either Expert Belt or that item that boosts the special attack by 10% or 20%. I forgot how much it boosted exactly. There is a Mew now knowing that this is not... Um, well, yeah, knowing that Mew can probably take it on. I don't know why he switched the Mew out. I think he could have just so softballed it earlier with the Mew to scout. Now that he lost the Zygarde, um, this game is pretty much over. Um, you can see Vicria doesn't do that much because it probably has some special attack investment, the Victini. Or this Mew is like really bulky, one of the two things. Uh, Mew is free to softball up here. Uh, Jules is probably going to go for U turn, which is, I think, a slow U turn because he just lowered his speed after the recreate. Um, yeah, this, this game pretty much is over now. Like, Hot Meat has no counterplay to Tapu Coco anymore at this point. Um, I guess Megina can potentially take two hits, but it cannot take a T build into a Z T build, I think. I mean, if Pax is at full and Coco uses the Z-move, then Pax can take a hit and potentially toxic the Coco if it has that. But if Jules plays the Coco correct, it just wins at this point. Um, so he can either go to Zardwai or Coco here. Um, those are the two potential plays as he goes into Coco. I mean, he obviously doesn't want to go Zard and take rocks. I completely get that. And yeah, now he's just going to click U-turn or T-Bolt. I think T-Bolt is kind of free. If you U-turn and the Mew stays in, I guess you would have to be forced to go into the Zard. Um, yeah, it's either T-Bolt or U-turn. I mean, Hot Meat is gonna Kalk here. If he knows that he can live a Z-move, then he's free to stay in and go for Soft Bolt here with the Mew. Um, otherwise, he might switch out into his Spadev Megir now. Um, those are the two plays for him. As, do we see T-Bolt or U-turn? We do see a U-turn. Uh, so now... Probably Zard comes out here and might, might want to go for Mega Evolution and Roost to, to get that Spadef boost on Zard. Uh, if Zard comes out, that means uh, he's forced into Pex. He goes into Victini instead, which is understandable. Now the terrain is up, which means Bolt Strike would obviously um, do a lot. The thing is, doesn't don't we already know that the Mew waltz this? Because V-Create only did like 50 to the Mew, or was it 53? I don't remember. It didn't 2 it KO the Mew with leftovers, so I think Mew is the play for Hot Meat here. Like, he already knows the Coco is the Z-Move user, not the Victini, so I'm pretty sure Victini cannot 2 KO the Mew, or am I missing something? Like, if I miss Cult, I guess it might be a roll to 2 KO the Mew. That could be it. But yeah, um, my computer is making loud noises in the background, I'm really sorry if you guys can hear it, I'm trying to get a better computer soon. I'm a bit broke, so <laughs> it's rough out here to get a better computer, because I want to bring, bring you guys quality content. Um, and, and it's tough with this lagging computer. I also want to stream for you guys, which is not possible with this garbage computer. Okay. I've cried enough about my computer now, let's get back into the game. I guess if he has Protect, he can go for that to get some leftovers. But I assume it's probably a Pain Split Magina. Um, but like I said, with either Volt, with Volt Switch, either Flurken or Flashken and Heart Swap. And yeah, like I said already at Preview, I think I said it. This, had to be sp this has to be Spadef to help with the Mega Alakazam matchup. Because uh, Mega Alakazam completely destroys him <laughs> otherwise. And yeah, we do see a Bolt Strike. Uh, he predicted the Pex, I guess. Um, I think he could have just gone Mew, but Volt Switch is all... Like, it worked out for him, but now the Megina got chipped, which means Coco can easily 2 it KO it from this range, I think. So now all, now all Jules needs at, this point, needs at this point is some chip on the Pex, or save the Z-move for the Pex on the Coco, and Coco just wins, so... Because I don't think the Mew has off power. It has to be Ice Beam, Soft Bolt, Roost, and Rocks. It already revealed Roost, right? And it already revealed Roost slash Soft Bolt. Revealed. I don't know if it revealed Ice Beam yet, but it's obvious that it's Ice Beam. So I guess he's just gonna softball with the Mew as Bolt Strike misses. Doesn't play a huge factor, doesn't matter at all. Um, he already wins with Coco at this point, unless he gets hexed. Like, I guess he can get frozen by the Mew with the Coco. Uh, yeah, after the, the Victini goes down here, well, I guess he can... 
Uh, Meat can potentially softball again here. Uh, I mean roost, I always mix up the moves, because I personally run softball always on my Mew, but he runs roost. Um, he could potentially softball again here, or roost, I keep mixing them up. <laughs> oh, he paras himself there, that doesn't matter at all. Yeah, the reason you heal again there is in case the Victini goes for um, V-Create, then you outspeed it the next turn and you can Ice Beam it. I mean, Jules can either go for U-Turn or V-Create, it doesn't matter. This Victini is pretty much just death for the, um, in case. Like, if it stays around, it's just death for her. it's not gonna do anything for him. Uh, this game has been decided already since the Zadex and Zygarde are down. Coco should win this game for Jules, unless it gets hexed by like Hurricane Confusion or by uh, Ice Beam Freeze from the Mew, or if he lets it get toxic and plays it wrong. So he gets a U turn there. So now, I'm going to Gliscor here um, to potentially defog the rocks away for the Zard and the Victini. More so for the Zard. You could also go into Coco and. Um, T-Bolt would not Oko Pax, so he would have to go for Z Gigavolt Havoc if he goes Coco here. Um, yeah, it's either Coco or Gliscor, which uh, Gliscor could come out and defog. Coco could come out and Gigavolt Havoc the Pax. He might also want a hard T-Bolt if he goes Coco in case um, Hot Meat switches out, because it's really obvious that he cannot stay in with the Pax if Coco comes out, because if he loses the Pax, then he just loses to the Zard Y on the spot, but he also loses to Coco on the spot, kind of. Um, so yeah, Jules has a few options here, like I said, he can either go Gliscor and click Defog, or he can go Coco. And then if he goes Coco, he has to predict if he wants to hard raw T-Bolt, or if he wants to go for Z, which is most likely Gigavolt Havoc. So, uh, Pex is at full, I assume this Pex is most likely mi mixed defensive, since he has a Megina that is already spit If he goes on Megina there, not wanting to let the Pex um, go down to a Z move, there is the Z move that bobs the Megina. Now, you can say Jules could have predicted that, but I think that was a completely fine play for him. Now he U-turns. Uh, he's either gonna sack the Victini, or he's gonna go hard into his Charizard. Both are fine plays, in my opinion. Um, yeah, goes on Hazard, and... Unless he gets Ice Beam frozen here, he's completely fine. Now we can just Mega Evolve and Roost, get an extra Spadev boost, and yeah, Pex is always the player there because Pex can wall it. And yeah, nice lag there, shoutouts to my computer <laughs> being garbage, my laptop. And now, you can just go into Gliscor here and get a Defog off. Um, the Sun also makes it so Scald from Pex will do even less to the Gliscor. And yeah, this game been over. Damn, I'm really tired. Uh, even though I slept quite a lot today. But yeah, Gliscor comes out on... Do we see a Scald? Do we see, we see Toxic Spikes? So this is probably Toxic Spikes, Scald, Recover, and Haze, which means it doesn't have Toxic. Uh, so we can see a Defog here from Jules as um, yeah, either Mew or Torn was always the play for Hot Meat. And now if you're Jules here, you can switch out and sack the Victini. Um, I guess you can also go on a Charizard, which has good Spadef and can probably take Hurricanes. You can also go hard into Coco, but I personally would not have gone hard Coco as he does go hard Coco. I would not have done that because... What if you get Hurricane Crit confused right there, or something like that? Like, I think Coco kind of just wins on its own. To be fair, it doesn't matter. He has like so many ways to win the game at this point, so no reason to attack him. I think he wins this anyway. Because even if his Coco gets confused and hurts himself for some reason and hexes himself down, he can still win by PP stalling the packs um, between the Zard and between the Gliscor. He can just switch around on the packs because he just got rid of the rocks. Well, I guess unless rocks go back up, but yeah, the hex didn't happen. Now he's free to click T-Bolt here, but yeah, he just forfeits. He knows he cannot win this game. I'll thank you guys for watching. This was game one, and I'll see you with game two later. And Jules is up 1-0. I think it was well played by Jules overall. Even though um, I just realized now, I don't think he has a Scarf because the Katana was banded. And the Coco was the move, and the Victini changed up moves as well, right? It did change up moves, right? I have to double check. I think it changed up moves, so it was not... Scarf, which means, yeah, interesting team, no Scarf, but it's worked out for him. And his team was really cool overall, so props to him. Okay, it's been a few minutes now, and unfortunately, there will not be a game two. So, Hot Meat has some real life issues. I really hope everything is okay with you, dude, if you're watching this. Um, real life over Pokemon, and yeah, apparently, he's gonna forfeit the series, even though they only played one game. Jules is gonna. Um, get the victory and he's 1-0 now after round 1 of OLT. Uh, he's gonna get that 1-0 record. So the number eight, the number 9 spot is now gonna get subbed in from the cycle. Um, that ha Like the cycle that Heartmeat was number 8 in, the number 9 guy is now gonna get subbed in for him. I don't know who that is exactly. But yeah, I hope everything is okay with Heartmeat and I thank you guys for watching. See you with more tournament coverage later and smash a like button. 
Have a fantastic day and peace out.